and welcome, welcome on the quest to uh, to find and to retrieve the scorched helm. It's very important. Let's heal this guy up a little bit. You're pl well, I am playing, and you are playing through me, vicariously through me, Warhammer Quest. It's a very fun game. I'm enjoying it, at least thus far, and uh, I hope you guys are as well. I, I can't see how you're not, but it's possible that you're not. Uh, just to re-mention this, I, I am willing to buy characters. Um, so if there's a particular character that you really, 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 really want to see and you think it's worth me buying, uh, let me know. So there's an encounter, so I get zero winds of magic. The room is covered in a strange ooze. As the party enters, the ooze trembles slightly as if sensing the change in air pressure. Within seconds, the ooze has slid off the wall and solidified into an one amorphous mass in the center. It lunges at Kazakh, attacking what it perceives as the greatest threat. So we're fighting each other. Warrior breaks, breaks free of the ooze, but has been partially ingested in the process. Even as it splatters across the room, the party can see it starting to run together and such re to reform its true mass. Better move on. So we have to get going, um, but we took some pretty significant damage. I wonder if staying an extra night in this in this room is gonna cause me to get attacked again or something. Hopefully not. It does not. I was able to get enough wounds of magic for a healing mist. It gives me five wounds, exactly what I lost. So we ended up pretty okay. Scorched helm at the center of the room was the scorched helm can be seen dangling in the rafters via silver co sl silvered cord. The warriors are naturally cautious, as although the chamber seems empty now, they are experienced enough to know that this that the artifact. The, an artifact this valuable will not be left unguarded. So, a night goblin boss and four night goblins with bows suddenly apparently appear, although I did not see them at first, is what I'm hearing. And the boss is right in front of me. I think I might be okay with, with uh, power housing him down. What do you have on you? Anyone have any kind of like spells? No. Okay, so this is what we're going to do here. Maybe I should put that guy behind him. But it's okay. We're going to attack anyway. We're going to attack with all of our might. Pretty much all of our might. And But with the range, we're going to go for uh, these goblins in the back. Try to lower the amount of damage that they can do to us. Good. We got a kill. going to leave this guy back here. Finger of Death Scroll, though, would probably kill this guy. But I think I want to save it. I want to try to save it at least. Let's see if he does like a mass amount of like crazy super hard damage. Like he did do a lot of damage. But he hit twice. Which is not normal. Okay. But there's an encounter. Alright. This is not good. This guy could very easily die next turn. So we're going to try to clear some of this out a little bit and uh, and see maybe what we can do. I'm going to attack him. Attack him again. Shit. I'm going to attack him. Got the kill without the death blow. Do I use the five finger death, this finger scroll of death? I think it might save my guy. How much? I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to do it. That encounter kind of really messed us up. So we used it, we got 20 damage done, and we were able to kill the baddie with it. Perfect. That's okay with me. That's okay with me. I think it was worth it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell for sure because, you know, it could have been used in a different situation, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure they, it's likely that they lose everything, or at least their experience, when they, uh, when they die. And I wanted to try to avoid that, if I at all can. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to march you guys forward. At this point, it's not a big deal. We can move in through the dungeon. Can you not attack? Can you can you not attack with your ranged weapon? I thought you could. Yeah. I thought you could. See, he's attacking. He missed. We'll attack this guy. It doesn't really matter who we attack, I don't think. We could still lose this guy. If if the chances are... I mean, they're a little bit lower that we do, but it, you know, it is certainly possible if he gets hit by that. I probably would want to... Wow. Just wow. Wow. I don't think I could possibly have been more unlucky with that. I mean, I'm wrong. I could have been. But it seems like it'd be unlikely. Let's try to attack with this guy. 
got the kill. That's good. He got the death blow. Missed another one. Attack with him. We could potentially die. Like, we very could potentially die. Depends on who hits, and, and it also depends on any counter. Oh! He died. After everything, he died. Wow. Wow. Can I move now? What happens if I kill him? I don't think I'm going to. There's, I can't heal anything. I can't... Wow, I think he died. I don't know what that means. That really is upsetting, though. That's incredibly upsetting that uh, that, that happened the way that it happened. A lot of it, I think, had to do with all of the... Uh, Take 5 damage, cause initial 10, 20 damage, chance of stun used against undead enemies. Wow. Cave mushrooms and scorch helm. The artifacts guarding kneels over dead. Any of the minions scatters, squealing in fear. It's left in garden ripe for the taking. So we get it. Plus 5 max wounds. Very cool. But unfortunately, we may be victorious, but I wonder if that means that he drops down to level 0. I, it doesn't seem to be saying that he will, but it's possible that, it, that he does, or that he loses his armor. But we do unlock Warden, uh, and we're going to go there. That is the plan. We're going to go there. Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed that we lost him. Alright, let's travel. Let's travel to Warden. Yeah, Vorstuf, as I said in the uh, last episode, I believe, or maybe it was this episode, I think it was the last episode, um... Is, is unavailable for us to uh, take a quest from, unfortunately. So we're just going to avoid it, I think. It's a nice little place, though. Uh, Warden is a town as poor as the providence it lies in. Tattered banners of green and yellow, the colors of Sterling draped from the buildings, and the solidarity, solid, solidarity that guard the town, dilapidated walls are armed with rusty blades. Soldiery. My bad. More than a few eye up the weapons of your party to envious glances. The warriors are soon spotted by a gentleman uh, dressed in too fine attire to be a local. He raises uh, poem hat and greeting strangers too, eh? Um, they are not a very trusting lot, which makes them terrible customers, he says, expensively gesturing to the townsfolk around him. I was heading south of richer, to richer pickings in Averland. I sent my cavern of wares ahead, but the br brigands I'd hired as guards betrayed me and have stolen my goods. They even have the gall to send a ransom demanding gold for the return of the caravan. The fools are too lazy to sell the stock themselves. The merchant crushes a piece of paper in his hands, presumably the ransom demand. I haven't the funds with me here, but I'd like to secure your services. If you can find my caravan and bring it back to this godforsaken town, I'll reward you. Do with thieves as you do with the thieves as you please. Crush their skulls for all I care. Guards for hire. Sounds like a good a good quest. He seems to have kept his uh his stuff. Which is good. Does he still have his his yes, he still has his longsword and everything. Alrighty. So we want to take... I wonder if I forgot to do this. That may have made a big difference. I'm going to put the champion's buckler, buckler on. I thought I could. Oh, is it a uncommon item? Okay, that works. And then what do we have here? Scorched Helm. I'm going to give the Scorched Helm actually to uh, to this guy because... Oh, can you not have it? It's for Marauders. Okay. Well, geez then. This guy is, uh, is quite strong then. He's actually incredibly strong. Uh, that's okay with me. I'm just going to have to plan accordingly then as I run through all the different places. So let's give uh, the, the wizard... Let's give him the scroll of uh, fire. The lesser scroll of fire. And let's see here. Why don't we give Orki... What does he have here? Uh, I, want, I want Orki. We're going to give him one of the battle potions. And we'll also give him... A uh, stone bread, but can we give him a stone bread too then? Like, or like, can we put this up there? Seems like we can. Should be able to. That works for me. And we want to give a. Uh, maybe we'll give him. Let's just go with healing potion of swiftness. Uh, we'll, we might leave it the way this is right now. Iron. Can he take this too? No, he can't. This must be two-handed. Two-handed weapon, right. Alrighty. 
maybe he's good for now. What's the, who does this for? Wish Hunter. Okay, so we can't actually use this at the time. Modern Wizard. Okay, so we can sell quite a bit of things here. Uh, so we're gonna go with the market first and try to sell some of this. Uh, it sells for 625. That's less than I was hoping for. We're gonna sell the Iron Shield. We're gonna sell this Orb of Might. I don't remember that being there. That's for magic users. I'm gonna. I want to use that. Sell the horn helmet. Cooking spice. I wish I could like select multiple ones, but I I can't seem to. Sell that. Sell the sapphire gem. Sell the arrowheads. Sell the poisonous fangs. <coughs> oh my, bless me. Ah, sell junk. <laughs> okay, that was a lot easier. We're gonna sell the steak because we don't have the wish hunter yet, and we don't know if we're ever gonna get it. We're also gonna sell the short sword and the wooden shield. So now we have money, we have moolah, we have gold. There's a few things that we should be looking to getting now. Um, Marauder, Waywatcher, Shadow. We could use this. Two-handed weapon. I believe that's an upgrade for our... Oh, it's only for the Marauder, though. Wizards, they have a Finger of Death scroll, which is what I used through that. Orb of Might, Scroll of Healing, Fire, Rage... Protection sounds cool. Greater Skull of Healing, Legendary Orb of Might. Okay. I believe that those actually give you, like, power in case of a bad situation. But, like, the only thing we'd really be interested in is maybe the Great Sword, but more or less the Fine Short Bow. I do believe that might be a good one to, to get. But I think there's more important things currently to get. And that would be uh, going to the training grounds. Oh, not with him. Not with him. We want to go with him the training grounds and uh, and train him up I think that's a little bit more important so he goes he does retain what he had throughout his weapons go goes up his wounds go up to 15 and his melee attack goes up to two that means he gets two attacks per every turn that's pretty cool okay your warrior was accused of murder and thrown in jail the matter sorted out but we we had to bail him out so it costs us money that's why you got to be careful when you go into all these places and things uh, we're gonna go to the temple with it with the way watcher uh, and pray because I'm curious to see what different things we can get by praying. They're not listening, so the prayer is going to answer. We spent money for nothing. It's okay. It's actually okay. We're going to go to the market, though. We're going to buy the stone bread because you never know. It can be it can be pretty good. And I think that's really all that we really want from here at this point. We're gaining money slowly. We're certainly gaining experience and uh, as well as... Uh, some pretty decent loot. Ladies and gentlemen, though, I'm going to call it right here for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, all that good stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. And join me for the next episode. Coming right up. Peace out.